Oh yeah, good one. Stay hooked. been a little bit of a, a dumpster fire had some work done on the boat yesterday got out had no power to my trolling motor there's no inline fuse all my batteries are working on we're like what's going on pulled the boat out i mean just absolute chaos fire drill and uh we get to the service crew and one of my leads was not hooked up and so that's why i didn't have power so but that's the best case scenario so it's like it's a bad thing that i had issues this morning but man it's a good thing that it ended up being something as simple as a, a lead that wasn't hooked up we're putting in, not going to miss any fishing time, and hopefully we're going to get out there, we're going to run a lot of brush piles, fish deep most of the day, maybe go fish the bank if the current kicks up, but we will see you guys out there, we're about to have the national anthem, blast off, we'll see you. Alright, let's have good vibes, you know, the rest of the day, we had the bad stuff happen, now we can, I had a flat yesterday too, so, what else? <laughs> Yeah, I hope. I'm gonna fill in some blanks here. There's a bunch of good little fur points with brush piles on them, and there's just some areas I didn't graph, so we're gonna use five minutes and graph a couple of them. And then we'll go set up. Uh, biggest fish I caught all week was right there, and then I stuck another big one here. So maybe we'll get lucky. I mean, this is a brushy son of a gun right here. Most places we go, I'll be fishing like a specific piece of brush, half the size of this boat. But here, the whole point just kind of has it. So I'm gonna. Make a couple just long casts and work it back slow. I don't think he's gonna score. Mm, no. Do we check him even? I mean, there's no way. I'm ready if you're I just want to see what he weighs. I think he's like a one one. One pound, two ounces. Okay. Just that way I got a gauge, you know what I mean? That's not the size they're supposed to be on a 10 inch worm. My casts are terrible right now. I'm just not hitting the juice. That's a good one. That's gonna score if it's a bass. Kind of feels like a drum or a catfish or something. It doesn't feel like a bass. It's a catfish. Catfish. I was like, eh, I don't feel right. Yeah, I don't like you either. Slimy critter. See, eat it right there. I just went down on your head and you darted to it. I know you're a bass. Come on, Scorble. Look at that. Got flesh and didn't catch him. Look at that. That's his stomach, dude. He had it swallowed. Dog it, Alton. Pay attention. Did you see how long I let that fish swim with it? I'm sitting here staring at live scope, thinking I'm on the brush pile. I uh, didn't even get a hook in him. Oh yeah, good one. Stay hooked. We're on the board, boys. Two two. two. All right, sweet. Let's go. I set the hook, and he was in that pile. I was like, no, don't do it to me. So far, it's been the shallower brush piles we gotten bit out of. This one's 12 foot. You notice that? Yeah, he darted up to my bait, what he did. I think he's gonna be a little short, but he's gonna be close. One pound, four ounces, no one's good. Begging, maybe. No, it ain't a begging. Dang it, man, dude, he kicked my butt. Nah, he ain't gonna go, but sure, why not, right? One pound, one ounce. One, one. He got smaller as he came up, huh? Come on, Scorbo. 
crappy hook set, crappy bite. This is just kind of one of them places where if I was putting out brush, I'd put one, you know? Big one. That's a big one. That's a scoreable for sure. He's not that big, but man, what? Look at how skinny he is. He may not score. He ain't gonna score. He's gonna be like a one five. He's deadly skinny. One pound, eight ounces. Ooh, one eight. Okay. Holy might. Good. Look at how skinny. He is. I mean, dude, that's the mouth yeah. of like a three pounder on the Tennessee River when they're healthy. He uh, has half his weight in his head. <laughs> yeah. More than, More than half. Gosh, dog it. I've been robbed. That same fish. Still on there? Definitely stuck him. I don't think he's still on there because if he is still on there, he's about as long as my worm because I ain't felt him. Stay hooked. This is definitely scoreable, I think. Oh, yeah. How about that one? That one will help on it. That's a good Dude, one. I felt I was like tight lining it because I knew it didn't have much time. And I felt my line go Tonk! on the way down. That's a good way to end the period, dude. That's a two and a half. Easy. Take a picture of that if you don't care. Yeah. Three pounds, one out. Three, one. Let's go. Look at how beat up they are post spawn. I mean, still bloody tailed. Guys, not a bad end of the period there. What place we in? Seventh place, man. Seventh place. So that, there at the end, them last two have moved us from like 23rd to seventh. I would have liked to have had it go a little better. You know, I think I've had like four or five fish that have pulled my worm off or I've been out of position to set the hook because they've been under the boat and I'm fishing the brush too close. Um, both of the good quality fish I've caught have come on like 80 foot cast to the brush. So I think I need to make sure I'm staying off of it a little more. Um, and I'm kind of learning some of these spots, you know, in practice, I just graphed them, marked one brush pile. Um, and little did I know when I left there, there's like five more there and I wasn't even marking the good ones. So a couple of these places, like I've gone up on the point thinking to, I'm going to fish a brush pile 60 feet up there and I look down and I've shut down on top of an even better looking brush pile. So, you know, those might be ones I can revisit. Um, but yeah, it's been a good start to the period. Three scoreable bass. Um, if we can catch three more scoreables every period, we'll be in a good place. Um, especially if we can get a three pounder every period. Three pounders here at Golden, especially for heavy hitters. You know, that that that's going to make it where I don't absolutely fall in heavy hitters. If I can catch a four or five pounder, all of a sudden I'm gaining ground and I'll be in really good position going into the final two stages. What I thought was going to be a bad first period, we caught two right there in the last, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. It's been a good period. So I can't wait to make another couple casts of these brush piles. Feels like a scoreable. There we go. That's a scoreable. He's a fatty, dude. I've caught some that are longer than this today and didn't score. Now that one's going to score. One pound, 15 ounces. And 15, almost a two pounder. It's so weird, dude. You catch some that are two inches longer than that and look like they're on their deathbed. They're so skinny. And then you catch a little plump one. Catch a little plump one is all it takes. Okay, let me see. There's more fish in that pile. Now, I don't know if they're all bass. He dropped it. Oh, he got it. Doggy, pull my freaking worm off. What was that? Oh, I think he's gonna score my line. Line was. Gonna be a fish violation to I don't think he's gonna score. You see, my line was like around the brush, and I set the hook. One pound, two ounces, non-score. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm, pull my worm off. And I'm in 11th. You're in 11th place, 8 pounds, 4 ounces. I don't think so, but he might be close. 1 pound, 5 ounces. Say what's up to the YouTube channel. I'm not. I, 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 this is not <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Everybody, go follow, like, and subscribe to Tyler. He'll get a huge bump out of this. <laughs> Big storms with a lot of lightning have been coming through, so we're 
Paused. We're supposed to be. Ta is it 7:30 yet? No, it's 7:20. 7:20. We're supposed to be taking off in 10 minutes, and I'm still at the house. All right. Come on back. We'll see you guys out there. Lines in. Dog it. I don't I, I think that was one of them white bass is what that was, but I don't know. Look at there, he took my whole worm off. Maybe not, I don't know. I just feel like I'm wasting time, like I need to be getting bit. I'm gonna turn my brain off for a second and we're gonna go throw a square bell and a whopper plopper and go as fast as we can. Close. Really close. Really close. Come on, go one eight. I don't think he's going to. He's like a one six. One pound, eight ounces. Let's go, baby. One eight. Yeah, I'm glad he was healthy. I think I missed that exact fish three times. That's a better one, I think. Oh yeah, come right here. Ah, he's another about the same size. Yeah, he'll score. I think he's a little bigger. He's fat too. One pound, 11 ounces. 11, all right. Back to back. Back to back, guys. See, now I don't feel so dumb for fishing as much brush as I did. Ah, it's gonna be another close one. This one's skinnier. Now it's not gonna score, but we're gonna try him anyway. One pound, five ounces, not scoreable. He's little bitty. Yeah, he's little. Sickly looking dude. Look at that. See, I'm not convinced that there hadn't been some sort of a fish kill here. Yeah. I mean, because that fish is dying. Look at how look, look at how sick he is. Yeah. There's no nothing. Two, one, lines out three. Alright guys, if we can catch two fish period from here on out, I think we'll probably make it. It's gonna be real close. We're sitting just outside the cut right now. Caught two fish out of one brush pile. Had a couple fish blow up on top that I missed. I don't I don't really know what to do. We're gonna we're gonna fish brush for as long as we can and you know if come final period it's not working, then we're gonna go roll the bank with a plopper. Fish landing violation. I think he's gonna score. <laughs> one pound, six ounces. No, one six. I weigh him again. I mean, I, I know he's not gonna weigh, but man, I could have swore he's bigger than that. One pound, six ounces. Non scoreable. I really bass. thought that was gonna be a scoreable. Okay. Well, it's not the period we wanted. It's not even close. But how are we? How, how far are we out of the cut? Okay, so we're starting to tumble now. We're gonna have to have us a seven-pound period. My hat's off to all these guys. They're just better fishermen than I am. Today was a crazy day. It was a bit of a head scratcher. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys were catching them shallow, and at one point today, with like early mid-morning, I went shallow for an hour, and I gave myself an hour, and I was like, if this is the deal, I'll get a bite. Did it for an hour, didn't get a bite. Went back to my brush pile stuff and it just really never developed for me. And finally there at the end of the day, my camera's died so you won't see this. I said, whatever, and I'm going shallow and caught like four fish on a whopper plopper. Two of them scored, two of them didn't. Uh, but I did catch one on my very last cast with like 30 seconds left. And while it may not seem like much, I missed the cut. I finished 28th place. That two pounder right there moved me from 33rd to 28th. So that's five points. Um, which in the grand scheme of things could be important. You never know what will happen the rest of the year. So 
I'm gonna learn a lot this week. You know, you just gotta take the punches as they come and I don't know. If you wanna see a tournament that I did know and I won, go ahead and click in this corner right here. It's a lot more fun to watch than this video.